Sundraganda Chapter 38 Sita Devi gives Hanuman the Chudamani Hanuman was happy to hear Sita Devi's words he addressed Sita Devi seeing you is a very good omen you have given reasons for your concerns yes it will be difficult to travel 1000 yojanas on my back your second objection that you will not touch another man is noble you are janaka's daughter shri rama's wife that befits your status nobody can match your nobility i saw you talking to ravana i even saw your suicidal attempt i will humbly report all of this to shri rama i will also inform him of all your reasons for not returning with me because of my love for shri rama and you i was eager to unite both of you soon since you are not coming with me please give me any memorable article that shri rama can recognize so that i can convince rama i saw you sita with the tears started narrating an incident oh hanuman i will tell you one incident which other than i only shri rama would remember on the chitrakuta mountain in the northeast direction on the banks of the mandakini river we were living in a siddhashrama fruits and vegetables were available in abundance at those foothills we were roaming in the flower gardens when we got tired my lord was resting and sleeping in my lap when a crow poked me i tried to scare it by throwing a pebble i didn't move because i didn't want to disturb rama's sleep it came back again and again it poked me on my breast and i was hurt when shri rama saw that he was furious the crow was indra's son shri rama looked at him in anger took a blade of grass made it into a powerful brahmastra and threw it at the crow the crow flew away the blade of grass which was the brahmastra followed him indra's son went to all the gods for refuge and protection but no one could protect him so he finally came back to shri rama for protection the actual punishment for th- his offense should have been death but kind hearted shri rama pardoned the crow shri rama told the crow that he must use the weapon since it should not be wasted he asked the crow what he should do with the weapon the crow suggested that shri rama poke its eyes so its life could be saved the blade of grass thus burnt the right eye of the crow the crow was thankful to shri rama for saving its life and flew away when sita devi thought about shri rama she started crying addressing shri rama she said oh rama you could not tolerate a small crow's action how are you able to tolerate someone who stole your wife oh rama please be kind to me oh shri rama even though you are my protector right now i have no protection you told me compassion is your duty oh rama you are a great warrior you are strong there is nobody in this entire world that can defeat you you are dignified like the ocean you are the ruler of this entire earth you have the best knowledge of all the war weapons why are you not using your weapons on these demons sita devi now addressed hanuman oh hanuman nobody can surpass shri rama neither nagas gandharvas nor demons why did that great warrior not take me back in a hurry even lakshmana is not hurrying both the brothers could have destroyed the army enemy a long time ago and should have taken me back by now what is the delay what are they waiting for there is no doubt that i have done some bad deeds otherwise these efficient warriors would not be quiet sita devi cried with sadness hanuman told sita devi o oh mata because of shri rama's sorrow for you he is disinterested in everything if shri rama is sad lakshmana also becomes sad somehow i was able to come and see you very soon all your anguish will disappear those two brothers are enthusiastically waiting for my return shri rama will destroy the evil ravana along with his entire family and take you back o oh devi what message would you like me to 
deliver to Sri Rama, Lakshmana and Sugriva. Sita Devi replied, Hanuman, my full respects to the son of Kausalya. Tell him I inquired about his well-being. Lakshmana, Sumitra's son, left all his wealth, pampered riches, ornaments and servants to follow Sri Rama to the forest. That great man has been serving his brother with love and devotion in the wild forest. Lakshmana always res respected and considered us as parents. He was quite like my father-in-law. Because Lakshmana was always with him, Sri Rama did not think of his father much. Tell Lakshmana that I am okay. Tell Sri Rama several times that I shall live for only two more months. After that, I will not live. Sita Devi gave Hanuman her hair ornament, the Chutamani. He was very happy to take it. Hanuman went around Sita Devi three times and stood aside. His heart was filled with joy because he saw Sita Mata. Physically, he was standing next to her, but his mind and heart were with Sri Rama.